Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Look at that face. There she is. Oh, what a what a put em. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. That's Ronnie Bennett, ladies and gentlemen. She's out in Lake Oswego, uh, Oregon, which is very near Portland, which I want to talk about in a moment. We'll talk about uh, Portland, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, talk about Portland. Oh, boy. Anyway, uh, uh, how you doing? It's okay. It's okay. I mean, how's your day-to-day? Is it... It's not, I, I, there's no more, no more is there ever a day without pain. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I can control it to a large degree. Yeah. With um, over-the-counter painkillers. Uh, lately, it doesn't always work. And, you know, it's not a killer pain where you want to scream and yell and beat your head against the wall. It's, it's just the small grinding pain that just everything difficult you yeah know? yeah and um and i have very very little energy and the smallest things take it away you know if if i get a long email from someone as much as i love that person or i'm curious about that person it's oh no do i have to read all of that yeah yeah and and it's not just that i mean it's all kinds of things like do I really have to make lunch? <laughs> Let me ask you something. Now, I I know you're probably going to get irritated when I say this, but how much of that exhaustion is also exacerbated by the coronavirus and you having to stay indoors? Oh, not for me, not at all. Because for me, I have. Jacked. I go. I go for. You know, I can go for a walk when I want to around here, except that I, I can't because I don't have the energy and I, I don't breathe so well. So my walks are involved in taking the trash out and making, an, a, a, go to the mailbox and once a week walk as far as the car to go to the supermarket. I don't miss it at all. I've got windows to open on a nice day when it's not too hot. Um, you know, I'm a city girl and I live in the suburbs now. Yeah. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. To me, walking around means passing, you know, going past all kinds of different people and things going on and stuff. And that may not be going on as much in New York right now, but I guarantee you there's a lot more activity in New York than there is anywhere near me. Yeah, yeah. Um, because I because I, I, I don't want to bring it all around to me, but it always does. Uh I find that I have been in for so long now that I am starting to feel the effects of that. I'm starting to, I have constant tiredness, you know, um, and, and my wife seems to think I'm, I'm, I have depression over this whole thing about, you know, the being indoors. I mean, we've been indoors. I've basically been indoors for what, five and a half months, something like that. I mean, that can you know, drive you I, you're wonky. not going to like my response to this. Okay. Get over it. All right. Oh, Just oh get, over get over it. it. It's yeah, yeah. that or you'll kill people going out and breathing on them. Make up your mind. Yeah, right. Well, yesterday or day before. I just have no, I had so little patience with that. I mean, it's my patience is gone over that. We can either kill another 150,000 people or we can stay in and wear masks. And but you're absolutely. There is no you're, question. You're, you're absolutely right. The only thing that I've got to say that we're so proud of, the other day uh, on, uh, I guess it was Monday, or was it Monday? Yeah, Monday, uh, we had in this state, take a guess how many cases of coronavirus. Oh, I don't know. Uh, how many I deaths? Don't. How many well, deaths? I, I, come on, stop it. Two That's deaths. Not, not two, a useful two, question. Two. Um, none, none you had a very York. small number. But none in New York uh, State. What I don't, also don't like is... Every, but every state has to do it themselves. You know, viruses don't know anything about borders. 
Right. And and I don't understand. Don't understand how the rest of the world, troubled as they are by this, are doing a much better job than we are. Well, I do understand. Well, because they took it seriously from the beginning. The day it started happening, they closed everybody down. I'm sorry that I yelled at you about that. But I'm really tired of people moaning about being indoors. Make a choice. Die or stay indoors. Well, it's either die or kill somebody else. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah, no. But but, but I'm I'm kind of tired of the whining. We stay in for as long as it takes. People forget that the reason Italy is... A straight line now and the reason that England's a straight line is and France is that they all did force people to stay indoors and and that drove it down you know and and they've managed to keep it down but by not letting anybody in from the United States you know we're, we're so infected and we are it, it, we have a problem right now that didn't need to be okay and, and uh, I mean, we have people who are dead as a result of this who didn't need to die. But no, our selfishness in America, selfishness is one of the things, okay, that we're a very selfish country. Yeah, I think maybe up above selfishness, but stupidity. Well, yeah, okay. Um, our, our, our governor yesterday did a thing about these kids out in in Astoria who were partying out in the street and he said you don't hear this much from a governor but you're just being stupid yeah he's right he's right he said you're being stupid and if we could solve this thing tomorrow if Americans didn't say oh it's my right to not wear a mask no it's not your right not to. where's the constitution well you know what kind of people they are they are also the same ones who spit in the face of people who ask them to put a mask on yeah that's all you need to know about them. Yeah, and and and, and I don't. It, nobody should die from this. This should never have happened. But it did, and it really is showing who is who out in public. I mean, you know, just before we started, you mentioned Portland. I live right here next to Portland, and there's the whole political thing. I guess we'll get into later, but. Um, but it happens here as, as everywhere. But there are just a few people who are you know, dumb enough to keep walking around without masks. And it's not just themselves, it's everybody else, as you point out. It's such a simple thing. We have so little tools against this virus. But we can stay indoors, mask up when we go outdoors, keep our distance from one another, and yeah, you know, and we're going to have to do it for as long as it takes. Yeah. Or, or more. What are what are we up to? One hundred and forty thousand and change. Oh yeah. Dead oh in yeah. The United oh, yeah. States. Yeah. I mean, and the fact that I said, said and change is a really bad thing. We're getting way too well, used to those numbers. Today, well, this is uh, this is Wednesday. Okay, today, uh, California just beat New York out for the most cases. Can you imagine? I, just that? before we, we said hello, I heard that it would would do it today or tomorrow. It but did I, it. It did it. They we're no longer number one. That, that disappoints us greatly. Yeah, right. You know, I mean, as uh, per capita, we're still the highest, but you know, it it's still it's it's it, it, the whole. It, when did a, a mask? Oh, I forgot to turn my light on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's so cute. That I, up line. until now, we haven't been on the air, ladies and gentlemen. Um, right. Yes. No, the thing I don't understand is how wearing a mask or not wearing a mask became a political issue. And I think the only reason it became a political issue is because the president made it a political issue. You know, what's so interesting about that is, first of all, it's not hard to wear a mask. But the thing is, you don't even have to talk about it. If your leaders wear a mask every time you see them, and listen to while you mentioned this is what's going to save everybody. Did my light just change? I think it did or something. I don't know. Yes, what they're doing is putting a new roof on my building, and they just put out this big tarp right outside my window. Oh, I see. Well, you're okay. We can still see you. (laughs) Okay. I didn't know they were going to do that. This this may involve more loud pounding in a little while, too. 
I forgot what we were saying. Where were we? <laughs> well, we were talking about the politicizing of wearing a mask. Right. I mean, if if the entire, you know, all of the people who are in charge mm -hmm. to office, if from the very beginning, once we re understood that masking was going to help, had just done it every time they appeared somewhere out in public, I don't think there would be a question. It would never have become a political issue. The president and the governors who go along with him and all of their minions made it a political question. Our leaders made it a political question. And if they're up for re-election, that means we don't need those kind of people anymore. We're in a lot of trouble. Well, I mean, the fact It's about to get even darker. They're doing more out there. Well, once you disappear, we'll call it quits, okay? okay. But you, you look fine. The lighting is really good now. Uh, <laughs> oh, should I ask them to leave all that stuff? <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, you know, I mean, the thing is that it, you're right. It is so easy to wear a mask. Well, I'll, dis I'll disagree with you this far. Right now, the temperature in New York is uh, at 90 degrees. If I went outside with a mask on, it's a little more difficult than it would be if it were a little cooler. Oh, tell me about it. Do you have COPD? I know. Uh, you, you probably couldn't wear a mask because of the COPD. You probably just have I to have say to wear a mask because I can't go out if I don't wear a mask. Right. But it means even when I park as close to the supermarket door as I can, mm -hmm. it's by the time I get hopefully a cleaned basket to push, can you hear the pounding now? <laughs> and get inside. What I do is maneuver my way around to a little place where I'm out of anybody else's way. And I just stand there trying to get my breath for two or three minutes. From just that yeah. little walk with the mask on. And, um, it's, uh, and, and, and what I keep thinking about the people who say they have a right not to wear a mask is, or the ones who, who say there's a medical reason not to. I'm sure there are. But I get by with the mask. You know, I have to go a lot slower. I have to stop and, you know, calm myself down yeah. until the breathing comes back. But I get through it, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't want anybody else to get sick because unknowingly I have the virus and breathe on them or cough or something. And I don't want the same in reverse. Um, well, the problem we're having is young people here. Because they've got the idea they're invincible against this, which they're not, well, by the way. they shouldn't by now. I mean, you know, anybody over the age of 12 or 14 should be, you know, absorbing enough news that they understand that's not true about Wait them. a minute. 14 and absorbing news? They should be. I mean, it's, it's hard not to, you know. You and I did, uh, but I don't know if today's kids do, you know. Well, I don't know. I, but, I don't but know. you know, they don't, they don't get with the concept. That no, they probably if they get it, yeah, it's not it's not going to be pleasant. You know, but the they problem get it. with that is is also the same problem with having kids go back to school. Mm -hmm. When you're a teenager, it's your job to rebel against everything adults say, right? Right. It's your job when you're a teenager. Yeah. So the idea of sending kids back to school, you know, of distancing, mm -hmm. and wearing masks. Uh, it's not going to, there's always going to be kids that won't do it. And also, even a bigger one to me, the little kids, is that they're, you know, five, six, seven years old. If you tell them, you know, you've got to stay six feet, say this far from Mary, well, then they go play or they're going to do something at the in their classroom and they forget. They're just kids. They can't help it. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. So it makes no sense to put them back. And in and there. and granted, you know, the, the point is that granted, if they get it, they're pr it's probably not going to be lethal. But well, but, nobody knows that. But or any babies parent, are dying. any parent knows that when they send their kids to school, they start getting sick because the kids bring cooties home from school. They of don't have they them, do. but they bring them home. Yeah. And and that's exactly the problem. You know, and and so, how you get little kids to understand this, but when they get to be in their teens, uh, you know, you can you you can reason with them to a certain yes, extent. Yes, you can to a degree. <laughs> and 
I mean, think back to when you were a teenager. Come well, on. Well, you and I have never job. had kids, so we have no right to even talk about this. But I, I do. But think you know that, certain things about kids. You know that yeah. little kids are not on their own going to remember to keep a distance from their friends. They right. just they're going to get busy playing a game and they're just going to forget. You yeah. know, that's how it is. That's how kids are. Um, and it's you know the other thing that the kind of bigger bigger picture question um, about people not masking up and going out to COVID parties and that sort of thing is let's see if I is that this is a once in a lifetime occurrence it's a horrible terrible thing Yeah. starting from you know low level mayors up to the president rush, rush, rush we gotta get back to normal tomorrow morning if we don't get back to normal by tomorrow morning I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be awful. So right, everybody right. open all the stores and all the schools and do everything like you did before. Um, no. And it's not, I mean, you can't control a natural event. Well, like this. also, the president is thinking about his reelection. He's not thinking about the safety of the American public. And he keeps going, if the economy's bad, I can't claim the economy. All right. And yeah, the fact yeah, is yeah, that if you continue with this behavior, the economy is going to get even worse because... Well, you can't you have know. a better economy until you get the virus under control or a way to live with it. Right, right. And until that happens, nothing we do is going to make the economy much better. Right. And right. I don't understand why people don't get these things. That it's not None of this is, is you know... This, none of it is difficult to understand. But you see, Ronnie, the problem is we live in a capitalistic country. And here we see a perfect example where money trumps life. You know, where they would rather have a good, what's going to happen to our economy? Why don't you say what's going to happen to our population? What's going to happen to the health mm -hmm. of the public? You know, people who are getting COVID and survive it look like they're going to be having long term effects from this disease yeah, we all know that. you know and, and and so that should be our primary concern For the economy comes second to human life and and but we don't seem to understand that and trump certainly doesn't understand it you know well you know it's, it's also we should talk about what's going on in portland. yeah now you live within a stone's throw of portland okay uh and yes. we know what's happening in portland uh the United States has gone to war against its own people. That's basically how I look at it. It's a secret police. I wish people would start saying that. Yeah. It is a secret police. The only insignia they wear on that camo is it just says police, if there's any. Nobody knows who they are. They throw people into unmarked cars. They never tell them why they're being thrown into a car. And what I this has been going on now for what two weeks in Portland yeah, yep. something like that every night God bless by the way the mothers who are all you know arm in arm protecting their children who are demonstrating yeah um, but uh, this is you know there's certain phrases from our past that make you sit up and pay attention yeah one of them is secret police and that is exactly what these people are that the federal government plopped down in Portland because there were people demonstrating there. As far as I know, he hasn't quite gotten rid of any part of the Constitution, and people have a right to do that. Mm -hmm. Every yeah, oh, they do. And I don't, what I, what the, my biggest question is at Tatuic with isn't there some, isn't there some way? that local government can say get out of here and make them go policing demonstrations is a local issue always has been mm -hmm. local police take care of that why and and here the from the mayor the governor have, have and a bunch of other people i think both senators and a good deal a good number of our representatives from oregon have told the federal government they want these unknown people who are by the way also masked so no way to ever identify them in the future um 
just get out of here. We'll handle our own problem. Why can't that be forced? Why isn't there a way to make that happen? Apparently, they can stay as long as the federal government wants to from what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't understand. Um, the, the, the thing that gets me about it is that these are people who are protesting, for the most part, freedom of speech. Uh, what they're saying is, well, it, they're defacing the federal building and we're there to protect the federal building. Well, to begin with, defacing the federal building, they're painting on the walls, okay? There are ways of getting that off after it's all over and you're back to your same old federal building. But the problem is, and I've always had an argument, that the police, their main job is not to protect people, it's to protect property. And, and we always value the protection of property over the protection of people, and that's what we've but, got but going I'm here. Not, but it's not the police. It's not the local police that are doing this. Oh, I know that. But what I'm saying is they're using property as their excuse, for, you know? And you're, well, I, I don't think the excuse is the problem. I think the problem is grabbing people off the street for no reason, and not telling them why they're being arrested, not being able to identify who's arresting you, being thrown in a, by the way, a rental car, not even something the federal government owns, Yeah. and taking them off somewhere. And I don't understand why it can't be stopped. I mean, were the founding fathers that dumb that it's not set up in a way that we that the federal government can't take over a local city? Well, I don't think they can, but but they well, they've are. Done it. But they but they, but they can, but they are, and I think that's the point. You know, uh, it's well, it, well, who? I mean, the question is, who can make them stop? Well, um, unless the people who are in those demonstrations want to take on these police physically, nobody, unless somebody jumps in with some kind well, of Then illegal. they will be arrested for attacking a federal officer. Yeah. They can't do that. Right, right. So, so who can make it stop? Who can make it stop? Well, Trump can make it stop. Bill Barr can make it stop. Mm -hmm. uh, the Homeland Security people can make it stop, but they're not going to because this is an election year and the president wants to show that he's the uh, uh, the president of law and order, who, by the way, uh, yesterday when they asked him about Ghislaine Maxwell, who was the, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the uh, is it being accused of uh, Epstein's helper. Tra tra sex trafficking, uh, they asked him about her. He said, I wish her well. Yeah, I saw He said it, it twice, yeah, by the that. way. He, he wanted to make sure you knew he said it twice. What what is that all about? You know this. this I don't really care. So he care is not the president of Law and Order. Uh, 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 giving Stone a uh, a commutation uh, is that Law and Order? You know what worries me is he's saying. I, th I think that the biggest federal government problem, besides not not taking charge of of the virus, mm -hmm. is this attack in Portland. And the president has said that it'll next go to Chicago. Well, Chicago has a murder problem that Portland, Oregon doesn't. Right. Eight more, maybe 12 more, I don't remember what people shot this past weekend in yeah. Chicago. Mm -hmm. That then will give those kind of cops a reason to shoot. And then we're in, we're already in deep trouble. Well, and then we're really, well, what's happening in Chicago is a local police issue. It's not well, a... Well, so is it in Portland, Oregon. You know, doesn't seem yeah. to matter. Uh, and I, it's a shame what's happening in Chicago, but Chicago, you know, he, he go back to the 20s, they were killing each other in the streets. I don't know. There's something about Chicago. But, no, I mean, th this is really serious. We shouldn't be making jokes Well, no, but what I'm saying is, uh, well, uh, what I don't get is it's black. And this is, I want to be really... I want you to be really clear where I'm coming from here. We are in deep, deep political trouble. What Trump has done is deployed a secret army 
with these these men with their I don't know maybe they're women too you can't tell their faces are completely covered with gas masks and camouflage hard to know who these people could be even you know men or women um, we know where this took place before yep we, we don't have to talk about that we know yeah. and it's being done here and it it may be the darkest, most ominous thing that's ever happened in the United States domestically. I agree with you, and and we're almost, we've almost run out of time. But I'll ask you one major question: Have we become a banana republic? Well, I don't think I I you I don't know I I have no place I I just can't deal with with yeah. labor. It it, it 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 cheapens things to give. So it I effect. I guess I have no problem asking you this last question: Who are you voting for? <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's a question for you. Yeah. Um, we all know that I have two deadly diseases, and I've entered hospice, which means I don't have a lot of time to live. And I desperately want to see the results of this election in November. You will. Wait a minute. I haven't brought up the question. We vote by mail in Oregon. It's been done here that way for 20 years. Trump can't do anything about it. Yeah. And we usually get ballots about three weeks ahead yeah, of the yeah. actual election date. Mm -hmm. So let's say my ballot arrives because I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I fill it all in and I mail it off. Um, what if I die before election day? Do they count it? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> and with that, we're going to call it to a close. Uh, you can find Ronnie Bennett at timegoesby.net. <laughs> about what it's like to get old, which sometimes is fun and sometimes it isn't. Goes either way. <laughs> Goes either way. Thank you, Ronnie. Great talking to you once again. We'll see you in too, a couple darling. of weeks. Take good care. Bye-bye. I love you. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, and that's Ronnie Bennett, and we love talking to her, and uh, I hope that we keep talking to her for a long time, okay? Uh, but you never, you never know. You never know. You, you, that's the way of all relationships in life, okay? Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, start admitting some people uh, to, our, um, uh, to our panel, uh, and we're, uh, let's see, here we've got... Uh, uh, we've got, oh, we've got, uh, let me see here. Let me, uh, let me, okay. we got everything okay? Fine, good. All right, then I will go to the Zoom panel. And there's what we've got so far, folks. Uh, it's Howard. Hello, Howard. Hello, uh, Hello uh, to um, uh, me. <laughs> uh, hello to Robert. How are you, Robert? I'm fine, Alex. Thank you. T today you have a woman's name there as well. On your yes, I, I noticed that. I, I'm on a different machine. That's uh, my wife. I see. So it's what your wife's machine. And, of she course, does. Charlie Wallace, deep in the heart of infected Texas, uh, which is not very good. You know, at least uh, Robert is in New Jersey, if I remember correctly, Robert. That's and, correct. And we are, uh, you know, we go up and down a little bit on the death thing, but basically we've stayed under 10 for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. You know, and 197 uh, died in Texas today. Really, really. Yeah, hmm. new record. 197. New record. Do you know Cal California has surpassed New York now in the number of COVID cases? Yep, but we're coming for you. I know you. You're very. Yes. Uh, I think is Florida closer or are you closer? Florida closer. Florida will get there first, but we yeah. won't be far. Two weeks. You're all. Two you're all, you're, you're all now. racing to uh, to get there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We're number one. We're number one. Yeah. Well, we're we're going to wind up being, I think, number three within by the end of the week. Yeah. You know. So, but but nobody ever comes to New York and says, "What are you doing there? That's working." You know. Uh, so, what the hell? How, uh, one in ninety. What is it? What do they say? One in every ninety-eight people in uh, California has COVID now. Yes. Yeah. So. And Phil's still safe for the time being. Yeah, well, I, you know, we have to worry about COVID, but I guess in New York, you got to worry about getting shot. Not really. 
Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Oh, like, I think getting go, hit oh. by fireworks maybe is a is a is a better chance. Yeah. Uh, but nah, nah. You know, it's not as bad as you think. All right. I guess it's Brooklyn and the Bronx, right? Uh, bah, 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 bah. I, don't, I don't know. It is it. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're not. Uh, you no. know. I mean, it, what's happened is we we've been having this problem recently, and and I think it's COVID related. I mean. COVID related in that a lot of people um, uh, were pent up all winter and now they're, they've got the chance to go out and they've gone crazy with the guns, you know. Yeah. But you, yeah. you're the one that wants guns legal. So, you know, you're big for yeah, a Second Amendment guy. That, so this is the Second Amendment in action, Phil. You should be happy about it. It's the people that own them legally that you don't have to worry about. Well, no, these it's people the animals that are running around killing each other. A animals, you call, you call other human beings animals, do you? Actual animals, yeah. Uh, and if and, and and you know, here we go. Look at these people. God, it's not all. It's not even like uh, two minutes into our. They're innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> They're innocent until proven guilty. They have a right to a fair trial. Yeah, and the three-year-old that got shot through the head last night, that one doesn't count. Innocent until proven year, guilty. Oh, take your it only take works your for you. Shove them up your ass, Robert. It only works for you. How dare you, know, you tell one of them? How, how dare you tell a fellow citizen panel member <laughs> to shove it up his ass? Because he's using a, 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 a tactic that is like, you know, he tries. He takes using your at, words at, against right, you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you take them out of context, Robert. Oh, really? Yes. You wouldn't oh, understand no, context. No, let's see. Yeah. Uh, let me take put it in context then. Last night, I was talking about Giseline Maxwell and the yeah. fact that Trump, on so, not one occasion, but two occasions in his press conference, wished her well. And this is the woman who's accused of sex trafficking. And Acute. today, I think, who, who was that? Somebody said, I can't remember who now. Oh, yeah, it was, uh, what's his name? That uh, The guy that was the, the press uh, guy for about two days. Uh, he said, I can't remember his name now. Uh, the guy that uh, Scaramucci. Scaramucci. Yeah. He, he said the reason he thinks that Trump did that was kind of sending a coded message to her. I told you. Don't mention me. No shit. Uh, 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 and if you don't, Things will good things will happen. Well, I tell you, the one person that could bring him down, if it's true, would be her. And uh, you think that uh, in the New York courts that she would get a better deal going against Trump than for Trump? No, I think that this was Trump's way of saying, if you don't mention me and I'm still president, you can get a pardon just like my pals. You know what? I think you're reading uh, comic books, and uh, you know you're so you're so far off of reality. There's special messages, dog whistles. I know, I know, beat, I know. It's a terrible. You know, it's terrible what I listen to. People from New Jersey. It's what I listen to. You've been though. living amongst the mafia so long, you don't even know what's real, Robert. Is that an ethnic slur? Yeah, sure. It's a oh. New Jersey slur. Oh, I see. Trump acts like a mafia boss. What ethnicity yeah. is that? Oh, Trump! Uh, Trump very acts very much like a mob boss. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You got to be loyal to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what's going on in these Democratic-run cities oh, like Jesus. New York and shut Chicago up, and up, Portland and Seattle. You just don't. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. Um, the good tactic, well, though, yeah, let's, let's avoid talking about 143,000 deaths. Oh, and let's focus on a dozen about, or yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phil, yeah. Phil, 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 it seems Phil, that the huh? people, it seems that the, let's the not, most people. Let's not focus on people dropping dead by the thousands. The most people that are dying, million. wait a minute, mo the most people that are dying uh, right more. now as a matter, uh, as a as a consequence of COVID are all in Republican states. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Is that is that your tactic? Well, they <laughs> staved it off. And what the Democrats did was they shipped their Democrats with COVID into these Republican states yeah, right. to affect the rest <laughs> of the I see. Jesus. It's Christ. called winning. Huh? What 
does Jesus Christ have to do with this? In your case, nothing. <laughs> when did oh, anybody true. ship anybody to Texas? <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, isn't it nice that there's going to be some real estate in Houston? I guess they're burning down the embassy, uh, the Chinese embassy, and getting rid of a bunch of spies. They aren't burning down the embassy, Phil. They're burning it themselves. They're, they're burning uh, papers. They're burning papers, yes. And, and, yeah. and we do that if we're forced out of a country. Yes, we, we do. Yeah. 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 Well, oh. when, when the fire department responded, they no. said, no, we don't want you there. No, no, what everybody does when they, like when we've been, had trouble with, our, what do you think when we, in Iran, when we had trouble at our embassy, what do you think we did with all our documents? We shredded them. I, don't know. I thought we, uh, we had 300 and some odd people uh, in captivity for uh, uh, a long time, you know, under Jimmy You're Carter. Talking Jimmy Carter? Well, under Jimmy Carter, yeah, another Democrat. Of course, it's under a Democrat. That yeah. was like 52. It wasn't 300. Did you really want to join this tonight, Patrick, the way Phil is acting up? I have no idea what's being said. Oh, boy. Oh. He's, he couldn't wait two minutes. Couldn't oh. wait two minutes. We couldn't have just a nice little conversation about the swaying palm tree in Hawaii with Howard or uh, how's everything over in lovely New Jersey, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. So, uh, it's happy hour here. <laughs> hey, me too. Mm. Smart work. Mine was iced tea. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got two days left of radiation. Good. That's all? Oh, great. Seven That's weeks uh, has gone by pretty quickly. Are they going to ring a bell? Yeah, there's a bell in the hallway. Yeah. Uh, you know, I get there at 730 in the morning mm -hmm. and... There's been a couple of times that people have rung the bell, and mm -hmm. it actually gives me a headache. So I, I don't know if I really want to ring the bell and do that to everybody else. Well, you give us a headache, so you may as well get a little taste of your own medicine. <laughs> um, the um, uh, I'm going in for my CT scan, finally. Yay! Yeah. The one that I was supposed to have a month after my procedure, so it was. it's called the post-operative CT scan, not to find out whether I got anything bad or anything, but just that everything was done right, you know. So, yeah, uh, it's for their know, own. It's for their own uh, bookkeeping, basically. Of course, it winds up costing my insurance company a fortune. But you know, well, you know, there's two things that's going on. Uh, one is uh, because of the radiation, I've had to drink a lot of water, mm -hmm. and. I didn't realize how much better you feel when you're fully hydrated rather oh, than yeah. dehydrated. You know, I wasn't drinking enough water. I was drinking coffee. And uh, I should probably drink water. I think that's what I need. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's it's amazing the difference, uh, uh, you know, uh, feeling yes, hydrated. Now I can I can really tell the difference. Yeah. Yeah. We've been joined uh, by Brian Neary, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Brian. He's Looks like it's happy hour there, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I thought you had Kevin's popcorn. <laughs> no. Yeah, I love Kevin <laughs> yesterday with his popcorn. That was that was wonderful. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, is it pronounced Giseline Maxwell? It's a Galan, according a, to that Jeffrey Epstein documentary. A Galan? Okay. Because yeah. I thought it was jizz for short. It was if it was jizz. jizz. They call it jizz, jizz for short. Jizz for short. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he was. He's just trying to make sure that he. Wait a minute. Now we have a guy. Somebody wants to come in called Muha Cotiz. Muha. John Larkin. Cotiz. That must Larkin. be John. It's, it's got to be. It's got to be Larkin. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't get this one though. What is it? Muha? Co yeah. co Cortez? I don't know. Cortez, yeah. That's a good name. Muha. Oh, Cortez. It's, you know, oh, it says C O E T Z. You, you spelled your fake name wrong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Cortez. It's, uh, it's a weird name. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah. Kind of like Cochise, but Italian. Yeah. So, uh, anyway. Boy, my eyes have been tearing today. I don't know what it is. By the way, I can't figure out whether the air purifier is working or not. It doesn't seem to be. I still have dust in the room gathering, you know. Uh, pollen. I don't know. 
I can't tell whether it's working or not. So You're I'm thinking, I, well, older. here's how stupid I am, because the small one isn't, doesn't seem to be working. I'm thinking about buying a big one. Look, a lot of people have those air purifiers, and, you know, I, I think they work. It, it, you, you need the size purifier that fits the room, or you need two of them. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. If you got a 300-foot room and you got a one purifier that does 100 square feet, it's, it's not going to be efficient. My, mine does uh, 256 <laughs> square feet or something. And my thing, I think, is almost 500 square feet, my bedroom. It's a big bedroom. Yeah, it's a big bedroom. Well, I don't know. How do you, how do you go? See, here's the thing. Uh, if I showed you the ceilings here, I mean, they're 12 feet up. Yeah. So, you know, my it's, ceilings it's, aren't low either. So how so do we factor that cubic. in? Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of cubic feet. You know, when they tell you 200, 250 feet, they're thinking an eight-foot ceiling. So if you got a third more ceiling, then... Uh, well, uh, I'm thinking of buying this other one. What the hell, you know? I, I don't mind losing all my money to air purifiers. But I figure I'd get, get this really good air purifier and see what it does in the bedroom. And I put the small one in the office here, you know. Great. Yeah, yeah so... Uh, it's you know, but I I have it hasn't seemed to do anything yet. So anyway, um, you know, not much has been happening today in the news. Uh, 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 Donald Trump is that his name? The president gave a press conference. He gave a press conference today. Uh, he really is insisted on losing this election. Uh, mm -hmm. He's doing everything possible. I think he's using the same theory to lose the last, use the last time. Do anything that can make me not win, and I'll yeah. win. You know, uh, because but but uh, I think I think he I think he's got problems, and I think that the uh, the press conferences still aren't helping him because it's just too many. Uh, they're now having to in their uh, in their uh, interviews and in their press conferences and everything do a uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for um, um, do a debriefing for the audience okay mm -hmm. now that's what he said now here's the truth and then they give you the facts as opposed to what he said and when Chris Wallace was doing his interview after the interview they went back in and had had to slide it is put into the interview moments of Chris Wallace saying well, the president said that, but here are the actual numbers yeah. because they didn't want to mislead the audience. Now, I was trying to figure out, is that fair or isn't that fair? I mean, the guy comes up, he turns out for an interview, and now you're inserting stuff in the interview you've already done saying, no, he was lying when he said this, basically. I wonder, like, Phil said about, like Phil said about Biden, somebody's pulling the strings. Oh, yeah. I think so. Well, I was, he said that about Biden, that somebody's telling him what to say. Well, it sounds like people are correcting Trump, so somebody's behind Do, do you notice him always when he used to put down Obama, it was Obama did this, Obama did that, and now it's Obama Biden did this, Obama Biden yeah. did that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, um, and then, of course, it's the China flu, by the way. It's, it's the China flu. And yet, uh, if I remember correctly... Where it started in Wuhan, they had it all cleared up in Wuhan by the time it started to come over here. So yep. how is it exactly the Chinese flu? They exported it from They Wuhan. say it may not have come from they China. They that. That it actually started somewhere else and got to China. Yeah, it's... Uh, now, why did they uh, make up the thing that it started in their, uh, in their uh, uh, food area uh, in the in the wet uh, what they call i think they call the wet, wet markets market. yeah yeah market. Oh, animals uh why won't they allow any uh scientists to go in well, they and have check the Wuhan they lab have. they have and they've destroyed they information they even killed the whistleblowers that were in the world oh, oh he no he died of yeah, coronavirus he, uh, he actually died yeah he died from COVID. yeah yeah because and he, they died because, first, right? Because they, he was they died before the rest of the world. Because he was working with it, right? But they died before the rest of the world uh, got infected. So yeah, obviously mm -hmm. it probably started there. No, they don't. And, and they, that helps us. How it? Yeah. How does that help us? How does that change anything? 
It answers your question. No, here's your answer, Phil. Here's your answer, Phil. No, here's your answer. Phil, Phil, hold on a second. Here's here's your true answer. It doesn't matter what happened in Wuhan. What matters is what how we responded and how we jumped in to take care of it before anything terrible happened here. And we didn't do that because our president wasn't proactive. Your, your statement was it probably didn't start in Wuhan. And that's how it makes the point. I said it, that no, it, I said it, it may not have. A lot of people say it maybe started somewhere in Africa. OK, so my point is, uh, Robert, that uh, the uh, the first cases came well, out of you Wuhan. you mention Robert? So that, do you, do that, you have something against Robert? Yeah, right now I do. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know. He, Sorry, he, Robert. I know. <laughs> Take it as a badge first. of courage. He still <laughs> pissed at me from before. I see. Well, so uh, thank you. So anyway, your statement was it may not have come from Wuhan. And that wasn't I, my I, statement. No, not yours, Robert. I'm talking out. Uh, so uh, anyway, the and a little drama. Uh, so anyway, my answer was if the first cases came uh, were, came out of Wuhan, that would indicate that that's where it came from. And well, since it spread so much, yes and no. Well, yes and no, but yes it's, and no. to answer to begin with, the, 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 the thing they felt is it came from bats the people ate that they bought at the uh, wet market. Somebody Which, had a bat, you bad know, bat sandwich. Listen, yesterday there was a whole presser, load of bad bat. Okay, yesterday uh, Robert, in his presser, he talked about formulating a plan. Do you realize the NBA has had a fucking plan for a month? the NHL, Major League Baseball, but just now in late July, we're formulating a plan? Do you remember Mario Cuomo? Mario Mario Cuomo had a plan. Even even, 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 uh, Gavin Newsom in California had a plan, but he kind of fudged on it later on. Look, uh, uh, Fauci said, that these things well, don't are quote Fauci. He's a bad guy. He's a liar. Guy. He's horrible. You can't believe him. Uh, anyway, he said that these things are changing from the beginning uh, when we first got the infections uh, till now. We've learned a lot uh, over this time and plans have to change. So they have a new plan and they're in another phase, uh, which opens the uh, they want to open what was the, the old one. Uh, the old they didn't one. Have, what was the old one. The old one was to get ventilators, to get PPE. That doesn't prevent people from getting ill. But that was that was the first part of dealing with uh, the COVID. You know, uh, we had we had, we are, we were afraid that our hospitals were going to uh, fill up, and we took two weeks to uh, to to lock down so that our hospitals wouldn't get inundated with cases and they'd be able to handle it. Well, you kept moving the goalpost, okay. moving okay. the goalpost, yeah, yeah, right. and please, now it's, now it's a vaccine. Hey, Charlie. And, and, yeah. yeah, Charlie? Yes, yeah, going on over in uh, The hospital is full in Texas. Yeah. Well, uh, that, you know, that, down uh, in Mark. Apparently, apparently, he's a little late with formulating a plan, yeah. Phil. Now, in Texas, you need to now deal with the hot spots. But I don't think that you mean the, the entire uh, state. Well, the entire not the entire state, Houston and Austin are the two biggest. Oh, no, not the only ones. Yeah. Well, they're not you the know, only ones, but they're the ones that are being their hospitals are being overrun. And they're oh, no, the they're other hospitals are, too, but they're so small that they're easily overrun. They're having to send their people to Houston and Austin. That's yeah. true. Amy said uh, in, a, in a tweet uh, or post that uh, her the hospital in her area only has one ICU bed. Well, that's... But, but Phil, so dealing with hot spots is the equivalent of saying this part of the swimming pool is designated for pissing. Yeah. <laughs> works for me i use the whole pool <laughs> yes charlie the uh, uh god what was i gonna say uh, about, about oh about the hospitals one of the reasons that the hospitals in houston austin and dallas and places like that are filling up is because all of the small towns around texas lost their hospitals you know why because governor abbott refused to expand medicaid 
So the local, the rural areas, all those hospitals shut down because the people were too poor to afford health care and afford for the hospitalization. So the hospitals didn't have enough patients, and they all had to shut down. Oh, they should have moved to California. They'll give it to them. <laughs> oh, that, that's the other. That's yeah. That's the other thing. Uh, Phil, is there I'm, anything you don't have an opinion about? Yes, I'm two hundred dollars away. Because if there from is, all, I'd like to get to that topic. What would it be? <laughs> I'm two hundred dollars away from falling into the gap on on my on the on the uh, Medicare drug thing. Speaking uh, of which, the donut. I'm a little pissed at Trump because that lemonade stand that I opened at the border. Well, the caravan never showed up, and now they won't allow me to have small business money. So I'm, I'm a little ticked yeah. about that. Yeah, uh, no. We're sorry the caravans never showed up. Oh, jeez. Uh, 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 hey, yeah, Country Time Lemonade is giving uh, money to kids who yeah, can't okay. have their lemonade stands. I should have gone with the cruise ship option. Right. You know, you should Next caravans are in October. Yeah, I know. The, the air, yeah, the air, uh, the uh, caravans will show up about the time we're nearer the, the election, and the poll numbers are really bad. Well, uh, you know, then the Democrats, instead of the caravans, well, you know, they wanted the caravans, uh, they didn't come. So now they're rioting in the streets, and they're trying to burn down uh, yeah, courthouses yeah. and assault police officers so oh, that yeah. there's anarchy. You know? uh, anarchy, yeah. Um, um, uh, Patrick, you're sitting there. Rather bemused or something. I don't know. What is that look you've got on your face? Well, I, I was half agreeing with Phil on the startup of um, their phase one plan against COVID was actually to make sure that the hospitals weren't overrun. I mean, I don't think I dreamed that, that that's why we had all those ventilators made and uh we were reallocating those so you know i mean yeah and you're right you're you're right on in that respect uh, um patrick but and the big but is unfortunately we also have a problem with these hospitals being overrun and almost filled to capacity which then causes a problem not only not only for people who have covid but for people who are just ill I mean, yeah. if you're just sick, if you've got something wrong with you, I'll give you an example. I got my uh, my seeds for my prostate and my radiation. I finished what I was going to do, the operation for the seeds, one week before they started closing everything down because of COVID. If I had been one week late in getting it, I'd be still sitting here with cancer rotting away at me until they could do something about it. Probably they would do it now. Uh, because because it it is in its own way an elective surgery, so you know uh, a lot of people, uh, especially in in uh, in Texas now, you better not get sick with something else that you have to go to the yeah. hospital for, or even a stroke or a heart attack. Somebody may be afraid to go, and then you know seconds and minutes matter. I'll give you a good example. Next door, we had our neighbor's wife die, and she died because she went into sepsis. Uh, the reason why she went into sepsis was because she waited too long to go to, I mean, she called, they called the hospital and they said, we don't have room for you here, but here's what you should do. Take some Tylenol or whatever, you know? And it wasn't until she was finally dying that they called an ambulance and then the ambulance, because they were all being used so much, couldn't get here fast enough. And by the time they got here, she was dead. So my question is, did she die of COVID? You know, or as a result of COVID, and my answer would be yes, she did. Because had she chosen to go into sepsis, she would have just under any normal condition, she would have gone directly to the hospital. They would have taken care of her, and she would have been out. She'd be alive right now. So. And also, Trump waited too long to get all those companies like Ford and them into making the ventilators. Remember, yep. everybody was wanting them to to start to pull the trigger on that that manufacturing act. Yeah. And they just say, oh, we don't need it, we don't need it. And it's then all a, of a sudden, a, when they start making ventilators, it's already too late. It's a defense act. Is what it is. And yes. in March, there were states competing against one yeah. another to buy masks and PPE yeah. 
that could have been coordinated at the federal level. Well, if so the federal, if the federal government had been doing all the purchasing on this stuff, it would have, it, 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 they wouldn't have dared charged the kind of prices they were charging for PPE. I mean, they were charging $8 for a mask. Wasn't that the guy that bought that stuff, military surplus, and then try no, to resell no, it? No, that's, a very a, that's, an, price? that's another story altogether. That's one of the many stories of uh, profiteering. Expired stuff, too. Yeah, but no, I mean, uh, the, the fact was is that if all the states had been able to get together or, and with the federal government bought this stuff and then apportioned it out, it might not have been the problem that it became. But the, the government was too late getting into all of these things. I mean, he, as he said, as somebody just pointed out, today he said we're going to we have a plan. Well, I mean, come on, this is five months in the plan. Yeah. You should have had a plan the minute this thing started. The minute you saw New York had the infection rate that it had, you should have been you sh should have been there with a plan. Yep. You know, Cuomo had a plan. His plan worked, but. Yeah. You know, but what 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 the what the uh, administration did and what he was advised to do to not make sure it wasn't blowback since it was an election year is to then say, well, it's up to the governors and it's out of my hands. It's up to the governors. Well, that look what happened so to that. Great. His governor pals, his Republican governor pals handled it terribly because they didn't want to upset him by even admitting that there was a covid problem. Deny, deny, deny everything that he does. I don't know that girl. I've never met her. And then there are pictures of her. You know, it's like everything he says is, I don't know. I've never seen that, you know. Dr. Only, Burks today only reached five. out. Yeah. Dr. Burks today reached out to 11 major cities and informed them or communicated with them that, that there should be alarm over the increasing rates of COVID. That goes in the news category of no shit. You yeah. know, like this is supposed to be a help. Like Pittsburgh doesn't know that there are increasing yeah. it's, numbers. It's too, you know, a lot of this is too, too, uh, too late. You know, and and uh, Cuomo was bringing it up. He said there wasn't a problem five months ago. There wasn't a problem four months ago. Come on, uh, what? Just want to shoot the messenger. What you know, mean, what do you mean? Uh, you know, wait a minute. Who's the messenger a, here? Wait a, minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Who, who's the messenger, Phil? The messenger isn't Trump. He isn't sending a message. Yes, he is. Because what happened was everybody said they didn't want to hear from Trump. They didn't want him to have these uh, uh, these COVID conferences. So he stayed oh, away. I wanted them. Uh, I wanted them very much. I love them. They yeah. were terrific. They, they were entertaining. The, they were the Why best. They were the best. They were the be best. Either or. They were you the best comedy it. show on television, Phil. For sure. <laughs> you and uh, and the rest of your lefty uh, commies didn't want him uh, having those uh, two hour or hour and a half. No, we uh, loved it. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, two hours and, is a bit and, much. And, you know, you, that's when you when you have a two hour press uh, speech that you're giving, you're getting into Castro territory. Well, you <laughs> you know. need the news to cover the whole thing. They could have just covered the highlights, but uh, you know, because there was a lot of press questions, and he was transparent enough to take them. Oh, they're but, not, they're, uh, not so they're not they're not covering them anymore. They, yeah, they will go. Like they will go. The they will go man. into his coronavirus update. They will stick around for as long as the update's going on, and the minute he starts going into anything where he's politicking about the economy, about how well he's done with this, and how well he's done with it, they move away from it and say, we'll go back to it if he ever talks about anything substantial. Good. So what, what the situation is, is nobody wanted to hear that. He stayed away. He did what the people asked. And now they're saying, then oh, you, said, know, hey, you know, why, he away. you know why he's do you know why he's doing this? According to him, do you know why he's doing this, Phil? To the people. Uh, but yeah, because they were so popular. Oh, yeah. The ratings <laughs> yeah. were so high. Like a rash. <laughs> yeah. That he felt he had to go back to doing them. Yeah. Yeah. Really? What is this? Is it, 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 it looking at the ratings? This is not prime time. Besides which, why does it have to always be either or? So we didn't like his press conferences because they rambled, no pun intended. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't care for him doing the two-hour stick. 
But nobody said we didn't want him to behind the scenes do some work. I'm sure. So instead, he gets the idea we don't like the press conferences, so it has to go to the other side of the pendulum and he has to do nothing and do like this and say it's on the governors. Why couldn't there be an in between? It's always been on the governors, just like the crime and the riots are on the governors. Not the anymore. The stormtroopers are out. They're not yeah. stormtroopers. Whether they're governor wants them or not. MSNBC. Call them what you like. They're stormtroopers. They're police officers. Yep. They're enforcing the law. Phil, they, they have no jurisdiction. They are, they, they, are, they, are they are the secret. Army. They are the secret police. Oh yeah, that. So you're you're just regurgitating. You know, you know, no, 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 Phil. You know, you know. Wanna, I'm gonna uh, just be quiet for a while while I eviscerate you. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, you always talk here about the reason the Second Amendment, Amendment has to exist in case this government ever decides to take over and we should be able to have guns in order to prevent it. Haven't you said that, Phil? Absolutely. Okay. What do you think's happening now, for Christ's sake? They're protecting <laughs> federal property. They're not going after people. Phil, this, hey, the hell they this are. This BS of black vans picking up. Innocent mothers. It's not and, BS. And, I've seen BS. It's all over YouTube. Yeah, Look at the video. You arrested about ten people. And, and by uh, the way, Phil, today I looked. I looked at the uh, Phil. I looked at the uh, the uh, video of of the okay. secret of the secret police. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, secret police in uh, 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 in Portland. And according to you, yesterday the head of Homeland Security, whoever it was, that moron who was appointed by Trump. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Uh, said that they were wearing patches on their uh, shoulders. I looked for patches, Phil. I actually took a frame and blew it up to see if I could find a patch, and there are no patches. Can you post that? Huh? I'm, I, Can you post I, that for you? I did that hours ago. Yes, oh. uh, yes, uh, John. Yeah, that uh, that guy, Chad Wolf, or whatever his name is, mm -hmm. he, oh. has, he has no experience at all in law enforcement. He was a fucking lobbyist before... Trump yep. put him in charge of this shit. I mean, and, and something else I'll say, this is so illegal, the Constitution prohibits any type of federal police. All police forces are <clears throat> in the states. You know, it's relegated to the states. Yeah. So this has never been done before. It's John, like, yeah. Who, who it's is supposed to uh, protect the courthouses and the 9,000 federal buildings? Uh, I think it's 9,000 or 90,000. 9,000. Well, Federal buildings across the United States. Well, was that Navy uh, veteran a threat to a building? How are they to how trying are they to burn it down? They tried no, to take they it. They tried to burn it down. Did they burn yeah, it they, down, they, Phil? Did they burn it down? Did uh, Phil? Did they were, burn it down? Because the yeah, Phil, did they burn it down? I asked you a question. Answer me. Reported it. Answer Why? my question. They tried. They tried. Oh when? Yeah, they. Uh, the other night, they threw uh, 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 fire bombs into the lobby of uh, of the um, O'Hara is it the O'Hara uh, court uh, courthouse in Portland? No, no. So are they? No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. John Larkin disagrees with you, and and then yeah. Patrick. Yes, John. I've been watching it pretty closely, and all everybody that has you know almost everybody, other than Fox News, has has said that the main. The main instigators of all the, the everything going on is this police force. So, in other words, these protesters are coming out in reaction to those uh, uh, okay. stormtroopers, and yep. it's the stormtroopers that are aggressive. Yeah. Uh, yes, Patrick. All right. Um, they are wearing patches. I have a screenshot from KTLA. And they are wearing patches. They're just subdued like you wear on a military uniform. And I can show you right now. They're the American mm -hmm. flag, and they've got the patch of Homeland Security. Mm -hmm. Where is that? There, there we oh, he's talking about patches with their badge numbers. Yeah. Patrick, do we There's think no that a military-looking uniform is a good idea? Yeah. We do. Yeah. So we want military-looking people enforcing laws within cities. Sure. What prevents the federal government now from knocking on my door because I spoke against Trump and arresting me on some trumped-up charge? You want them to wear Where do we draw the line? 
You're not doing anything against a federal building or, or federal property. Neither were many of the wasn't people that were protesting, yeah. Patrick. Hi, Charlie. What did you say, Charlie? The, the Navy guy was not doing anything right. to any federal building anywhere. No, that's good. Correct. Shit out of him. Yep. Well, they weren't protecting the building. They're beating up people. What about the guy they shot in the head with the rubber bullet? He wasn't doing anything. He was just standing there with a, a boom box. Phil? Uh, you know, uh, there sometimes when you're when uh, you're hanging out uh, with rioters, you end up getting well, nobody uh, was rioting except the police, except those uh, troopers. No, you know, every night for 53 <laughs> nights in Portland, from midnight to five in the morning, the rioters have been going crazy, uh, destroying uh, uh, federal property. And uh, you know, if you had a business in Portland, would you, would you want uh, would you want that to go on there? You know, Phil, come on. How could Phil. you condone this stuff? You guys are complicit in trying to uh, throw over the United States. You, By the way, you know, you, know what I, you know what I found out from Ronnie today, which is interesting? Do you know that Portland yeah. uh, was a slave state? Oregon, you mean? You might as well then yeah, get Oregon. rid of them out of the Union. Oregon was a slave state. Yeah. 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 Well, we know that. Yeah, but the what thing is, Portland, Oregon. Portland is this... Name me Pamby, touchy feely city, uh, and for oh, this to go on in Portland, I could see if this were going on in you know any one of a number of other states, including our our beloved New York. I could see them trying it here, but Portland, come on, you know, and and all they did to that building was graffiti on the building, which is easy to take off. Don't you fucking know. destroy federal property. Oh, fuck Why federal so property. Fuck Why federal is property. Why such a hard concept? I'll tell you something, Patrick. Understand. Patrick, if you're going to protest against your government, aren't you going to do it to a federal building? What do you want them to do it to? A boutique somewhere? Hold your mind. You do not need to destroy property they didn't destroy understand. they didn't destroy property they put graffiti on it you can get that off it was on marble and stuff that's just easily taken off hell if we could clean the subways of, of graffiti you could certainly do that building well, why okay. do it why do it anyway what what purpose because the because you're you you don't like what the government's doing you're protesting the government and the place you protested so is at a federal facility oh i am burning Hold a sign and wind that way. Because you, you can't have, you have property. You have to have people that stand up and say, "Hey, this is not right," and and we're not gonna we're not gonna stand up you know, for this bullshit that Trump's pulling. That's, and that's fine, but you don't have to be spray painting and destroying shit to that's do. That's true. That's true. Not, not all of them are, not, not, not all of them are doing it. that. Hey. They, they didn't need to bring in stormtroopers for just because a couple of people were. You know, setting garbage cans on fire and spray painting buildings. They did a lot more than that. No nah, bullshit. And and you know what? You know, there's a there's a cop that's going to lose his vision. That you know, there's also oh. Oregon, Oregon uh, joined the union in 1859, and it was known to be a free state. Now, uh, does a free state mean that it didn't have slaves? It or, had, it uh, had, I don't know when it had slaves. Ronnie said that it was at one time a slave state, a slave where you were allowed there, to own slaves. A, Name a state in February 14th, 1850. Yeah, 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 but we're not talking about that. It has a lo long history of white supremacy up there, too. Yeah, yeah. And, it uh, must have been a slave Nazis. territory yeah. or something. But, you know, I mean, uh, I, you know, I mean, I... Quite frankly, I, I don't give a shit about what happens to a federal building. I do care about what happens to people. Okay, yeah. and I, I think if if, if you if you're wanting to protect a building over protecting the lives of people, no matter what they're doing, unless they're killing other people, and I think I, I think the human life is a little more important. Don't okay? break the fucking law. It's pretty easy. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, that's you're absolutely right. So don't send troops where they yeah, don't have jurisdiction. The they, they do have, have no jurisdiction the there. Well, that, Why hey, not wait for the city of Portland to reach out and say Robert, we need the I, National I know, Guard? Robert, I know you're just answer that question. Please answer that question. I, I know he's Why a, not wait? 
examples. Well, Phil, you're you're doing what you talked about last night. You're not allowing another point of view. Just answer my question. I Why won't. couldn't you wait for the city of Portland to reach out and ask for the National Guard's help? That's been the protocol forever. Forever. Why did, don't want their why help. did Trump buildings. decide to take the action on his own? Second of all, why didn't he send troops in as opposed to these nameless, faceless people? We don't even know who well, they work for or where they're taking people when they arrest them. They don't tell them. They don't tell them why they, they, they don't tell them why they're being arrested. Yes, Patrick. I'll walk before Portland will take care of their problem. Right. <laughs> okay, well, you better start walking. Really? <laughs> You're right. So let's form a Gestapo now but and let's get Chicago, it over. With. Chicago, Lightfoot has finally come around to saying, hey, we need the federal help. Send in your people. She didn't let say them that. work with our. When did she uh, say that? When did she, she say that, Phil? An hour ago. Yeah, she said it today. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. I, are you familiar with this one? Yeah, I heard it. Well, right. you heard it, but I, that doesn't you mean it it's wrong, it, you heard it wrong, right or right. I didn't no, hear it. I heard, in fact, quite the opposite, that she told yeah. uh, uh, Trump that she did not want the federal authorities to come into, into Chicago. And she said, That's stay right. out of Chicago. Now, Portland she, doesn't want them either. Her, she's changed her position on that. Well, you, you show me up? where it says it. Find me where it says that. Find it. Go I'll find it, Phil. Up. Maybe that'll but maybe it up. maybe but, that'll keep you quiet for five minutes but, if but you go have a homework me. assignment. When I come back with the answer, don't tell me we've moved on past that. All right. <laughs> and I don't want it from some source like uh, Alex Jones. Okay, Alex Jones says. <laughs> Isn't that one of the problems though? They're going in there and they're not working with the local authorities. They're, not working right? with they're just going on and gunslinging, yeah. right? That's the whole thing. They That's came in happened. without asking. Yeah. 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 Once so they leave Chicago federal said, property, they have no jurisdiction. Right. Yeah. But Alex. Like Bill says, says, wait, wait, wait. Howard, let, Howard hasn't said anything all night. Yes, Howard. Right. I, I figured out regarding the slaves in Oregon. And basically, Oregon had slaves before they were a state. Mm -hmm. Then, when they became a state, they said that no blacks were allowed and that they all had to leave or they were going to get whipped or beat. Oh, that's really? Oregon. That's when they became a state? Yep. And that's why Oregon only has 6% black population. Yeah, that's today. very low percentage. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want no brothers they, there. They told them all to leave, basically, or, or be beat. Boy, I'm glad I, I gave Phil that homework assignment because okay. now. But it happened. got rid of the basketball team. The one I found was. The basketball Fox. team, the Seattle the, the, the one you found, The one you found was Fox. Yeah, it says uh, a three-year-old girl was shot in the head hours after a funeral home incident. Wait, and that, that's not the, what, where he asked you to go no, looking no, no, for. No, no. So then Lightfoot uh, uh, pled uh, for assistance from the public uh, about the gunfire that erupted. Uh -huh. and, uh, the, and after rejecting the Trump administration plan <laughs> to send federal agents to help combat crime in the city, visually frustrated Lightfoot condemned the incidents, grappled the... Uh, uh, mm. I'll find the quote. Uh, where... I'll tell you what you do. Read it back to us when you find it. Okay, yeah, don't read us all the stuff leading up I, to it. I understand. I was trying to get to the point fast, but it didn't work that way. So far, she just asked the public for help. Yeah. She's not asking any federal troops to come. No, uh, no. She's, uh, she, I know that she asked that today. Well, what I found is no basically wrong. Lightfoot is saying she won't send the secret police to Chicago. That's what I thought. They're not secret police. They are secret yes, they police. Are. The Gestapo. Well, yeah. the Gest you okay, the Gestapo. We'll, 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 we'll give them the right uh, name. I'm sorry, Phil. Wait, the, the, Gestapo. the Gestapo. I used the wrong words. Unidentified government. Unidentified federal agents. Yeah, exactly. Secret police. Wait a minute, uh, Patrick. All you need to know is they're federal agents. And the reason they're not putting their badges out is they don't need to get harassed at home but they need to have a badge on so that you have a number so that if something if they do something untoward you you can turn them in they don't have to yeah, have their name on it they don't even have to have their name on the thing they need to have a badge so they have a number that you can report if you as a citizen want to do that it, if they have their patches on their shoulder good enough for me so somebody kicks the shit out of you 
and you'd like to file a complaint, where do you go? Where, where do you start? And and well, and, and, and how who, who did, how, do, how, you, how do you identify you who it was? How do you identify who it was? Yeah, uh, the Constitution the prohibits federal yeah. police. Charlie, every policeman in the city of Austin has his name and his badge number visible to anybody if they are stopped by the cop. Okay. Every cop, how come they don't get harassed if you're so worried about the federal police getting harassed? Well, because you know it, because let's, it, this let's is, get down to what this really is. This yeah. is Trump trying to run on the old Nixon law and order playbook. That's all this is. He's just trying he to has nothing war. else to grab. The economy's in the shitter. He's got people dropping dead. Mm -hmm. And so he's opted to go for law and order. It's the old Nixon playbook. It's not even that. It's the Middle East dictator playbook. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. All right. Uh, it says instead, this is like what said. Chicago will be receiving resources from FBI, DEA, and ATF agencies that the city has worked with regularly in the past. In to help the past. Let, let me, That's it, different. Help Phil, manage. Phil, Phil, forget it. Support. What you said was she was asking the government to send in people. Right, and what the government is sending, just like they did uh, with uh, in in uh, in other cities. But are those people? Are those people in Portland? Are those people in Portland? DEA? Are they DEA? Uh, their homeland. Uh, no, are they DEA? They may be. Are they DEA? They are they? Are they? Are they? Um, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, every FBI. FBI agent is required to much. to identify themselves. In, in Chicago, she said. Phil, that she didn't we'll say that. Receiving resources from FBI, DEA, and ATF. And she said that we have gotten those resources before, and we've used those resources before. She did not ask, she did not ask Trump to send in, she didn't ask, she didn't ask for Trump to send in his stormtroopers. What these are are federal agencies that are just like uh, Homeland Security is a federal agency. Phil, you're Homeland you're trying Security. you're trying to change the story. That's not what she yeah, says. You're there. trying to change. The she story. says we have always brought these people in to help us, and they only come in when asked, and to work together. To work right. together. Yeah. She's in. But but what you said was she asked. Uh, the federal government to send in their troops like they right, hadn't. She will work no, with no, no, no. She, I, but she didn't say that, Phil. Yeah, she yeah, didn't right. say that. So apologize. No, it's, it's exactly what you said. No, she no, will she, work with. The how many? How many here heard what he said? What what he read? Because you know when he reads stuff. I took the federal government. And raise your hand, and if you feel uh, if you feel that she, it, she that she asked them to Trump that, that to send like in his people. troopers. That would Trump, be like getting raise your hand. Raise version. your hand. Watch it. How many hands go up, Phil? Trump's guys. And not even guys. not even Patrick's hand is going up, and he's to the to the right. Yeah. On my what side. happened was she wrote a letter saying, "Donald, don't send them," and well, outlined all her think, reasons why. She as did, did as did I believe the 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 governor of New York, know. Mario Cuomo, wrote him and said or called him and said, "You better not yeah. send anybody up here." Uh, you know. But what's he doing? What's he doing to augment your lovely mayor and and the uh, listen? Big crime Cuomo and, and our mayor do not get along. Well, okay, so you, you're not going to have any gripe. You're not going to have any gripe about our mayor from Mario Cuomo. Whatever happened to or good old-fashioned small government Republicans? Yeah. I would love to sit and have a beer with one. Yeah, but I yeah. can't find one anymore. Yeah, I uh, really can. You know no, why? You're not no, one. No, I'll tell you why. We we have a good Republican on this panel right now. Patrick's a good Republican. A you small know. government Republican. Well, you're not even a Republican anymore, Patrick. What are I, you now? I've told you that for the yeah, last he's independent. Three years. <laughs> Conservative, not Republican. Okay, conservative. All right. Okay. True conservative. Right. I, I would I love to have a chat TV. with you then. I got a new Because jersey. I'm not hearing small government. No, Patrick anymore. and I disagree with each other, but it's an intelligent discussion. Yeah. Would you agree yeah. with that, Patrick? Yeah. We've, we've, been, we've been at each other for yeah. over 10 years now. Yeah. And I've always liked him because he's respectful of me and I'm respectful of him. And sometimes we get a little heated, 
But, you know, basically, I, I you know, he's my man. Well, actually, doesn't <laughs> like Trump. And uh, so neither does to- anybody else anymore, Phil. Yeah. Hey, I have his own wife doesn't like Robert. You know, I want to I want to see you on uh, November. Was it fourth with you with your putt in your hand? What's yeah, left of it after all the stuff? Uh, you, you know, hey. Uh, so anyway, boy, those feminine I, hormones are not working. I, uh, I, I, I can't. I can't go to New Jersey, Robert. Uh, in 1972. I was driving from New York to Miami, mm-hmm. and I got pulled over doing 75 or 85 and a 65. And I said to the trooper, what happens if I don't pay this ticket? He says, well, if you don't pay this ticket, you better not come back to New Jersey. So I never did. Mm. <laughs> oh, I so, wish you well. So on top of that, <laughs> this, this guy who believes in law and order, I believe you believe in law and order, right? Before computers. Is a scoff law. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, boy, you're hey, uh, on my FBI background investigation. It didn't come up. Oh, really? Okay. I actually once worked for the New Jersey State Police for one year. I was a civilian dispatcher. Yeah. By the way, I love the guys I worked with, but it was the most racist well, uh, organization I've ever been I'm, around. I'm in the my only life. one on this panel who's ever had top secret clearance. I had top secret. I was recruited by the CIA, but I didn't take the job. Really? Yeah, 1974. Wow, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, why didn't you take the job? I can't. I can't imagine why. <laughs> because I couldn't admit to my friends that I worked for the CIA. Oh in my 1974. goodness! What did they? What did they want you to do? <laughs> they wanted me to translate Russian uh, scientific literature to uh, ask, uh, assess the. Um, um, status of their scientific advancements. How the hell did you learn to read Russian science journals? Did you do you speak Russian? I did in '74. I, you... I was I minored in Russian at Northwestern. Oh wow! wow. Yeah. In Nostravia. <laughs> Comrade. You must have wanted would... to be an astronaut. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, pasiba. <laughs> Those are the only two Russian words I know. Yeah. That means bad words. Huh? What's those vidanya? Those that means, uh, what does that mean, Charlie? It means, that means it's, thank you, it's guys. Like, it's like, a, it's like a, a, a drink thing, isn't it, too? Okay. Nos vidanya. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. I think it means thank you. Oh, does it? I don't know. I'll have to ask my friend Natalia next time I talk to her what does nos vidanya yeah. mean. The only thing I remember now is Yanis Nayu. I know nothing. <laughs> Always a good thing to know. Always a good thing to know. Yeah, yeah. And, and we wish Thanks. Phil would say that more often. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so another pleasant night here at the Ramble. Everybody. Shouldn't ha- somebody mention the passing of John Lewis? It's just the personal. Thing oh, of mine. Yeah, we talked sort about of that last week. Yeah, we talked about that last week. Oh, did week. you? Yeah. Okay, I must yeah. have missed that. Okay. Yeah, you know, one of the, one of the, 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 the there's very little bad you can say about the guy. You know, he just was as perfect and decent a human being as you can find, and I think even the most conservative of the Republicans would agree with that. You know, he called for Trump's uh, uh, impeachment. Uh, he was a former. Yeah, well, first. good. Yeah. So did yeah. the, so did a lot of the rest of us as well. So yeah. You know. yeah. Hey, listen, that's it uh, for tonight. Boy, that went by pretty fast. Probably because 25 minutes of it was Ronnie. But anyway, thanks, Howard, once again. Aloha. Aloha. Uh, Michael, good. I love having you here. Please come back. You're just a, a ball of fire. You know, Robert, rather. Did Robert, I say Robert? Yeah. Did I say Robert? What did I say, Robert, right? Michael. Yeah. Uh, and uh, 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 Charlie, always love having you here, Phil. Sure. Uh, Patrick, thank you so much. And uh, Brian, you were a little quiet tonight, but I love seeing your daughter. Your daughter is so adorable. She's amazing. Anyway, and and of course, whatever your name is tonight, John Larkin, thanks for joining us as well. I want everybody to give a big wave goodbye at the audience, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye back. Okay? There we go. Okay. There goes our uh, citizen panel tonight. 
Uh, there'll be another one in just a few minutes with the intersection with uh, our good friend, uh, Jack Bishop. Uh, we'll be back again, let's see here, tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, stay safe and wear a mask, whatever our president says.